एवरीवन टुडे लेट्स वी कैन डिस्कस द लेट कोड क्वेश्चन नंबर 2583 केथ लार्जेस्ट सम इन ए बाइनरी ट्री इफ वी गिवन द रूट ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री एंड द पॉजिटिव इंटीजर के दे विल बी गिवन द रूट ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री एंड पॉजिटिव इंटीजर के एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द लेवल सम इन द ट्री the sum of the values of the nodes and we need to return on the same level return the kth largest level sum in the tree if there are fewer than k levels means we need to return minus 1 basically what they were in question they given on root of the binary tree one positive integer k okay we need to find the level sum on the same level of the tree okay we need to find the kth largest sum since in this example they given root 5 left child this is a left sub tree this is a right child this is a totally with until it is a right sub tree and this it uh, known as left 2 for this 2 as on sub tree with 2s left 4 2s right 6 for this it 8 right is 1 for this 9s left is 3 and right is 7 okay and they given k equals to 2 means this is zeroth level this is the first level this is second level okay we need to find the sum of all the levels okay and we need to find the k second order number here second largest number will be 13 so we are returning 13 let's look at proper understand in the whiteboard see in this example they given k equals to 2 okay see this is a root okay this is a zeroth level this is a first level this is a second level this is a third level we need to find the k second largest number okay we need to do sum of all the numbers okay let's look at understand how this problem is going to work first what i will be do i will create on answer vector to store my result after that i will be creating a queue to store my node values okay first i will be push my root node in the queue okay after that what i will be do this five i will be stored in the node okay after that i will be pop out from this queue okay i will check now this node as left child and right child yeah its left child is 8 this right child is 9 i will be just i will push in my queue okay after that i will be taking one sum variable starting it initialize it to 0 i will be stored my node value in this sum 0 plus node value is 5 my sum value will be 5 now what i will be do this 5 i will be stored in my answer vector okay now my friend element is this 8 what i will be do just i will be pop out from this queue before that this 8 i will be stored in this node okay i will check this 8 as left child and right child 8 left child is 2 right child is 1 now sum is equals to 0 right 0 plus this 8 i will be stored now my sum is 8 now my 9 is friend element i will be stored in the node 9 okay after that i will be pop out from this queue now i will check the 9th left child and right child in left child is 3 right child is 7 just i will be push in the queue okay after that i will be add this 9 node in this sum 8 plus 9 is 17 okay just i will be doing after that i will be store this 17 in the answer vector next iteration my 2 will be the friend element i will be stored in the node okay after that i will be pop out from this queue now i will check this 2 as left child and right child here yeah, left child is 4 the right child is 6 just i will be push in the queue now my sum will be this 0 plus this what will be our node value is 2 my sum value will be 2 now my friend element will be 1 just what i will be do i will be stored in the node i will after that i will be pop out i will check its left child and right child its left child is null the right child is null so i will be not push okay after what what i will be do i have this one node i will be add in the sum now my sum value will be 3 this friend uh, now the friend element is 3 okay now afterwards i will be pop out from this queue i will check this friend uh, node as uh, left child and right child left child is null the right child is null so i will be not in push into the queue after that i will be store this node in the sum my sum will be 6 now okay now my friend element is 7 what i will be do i will be stored in the node okay after that i will be pop out from this queue after that i will be check its left and right here left is null and the right is null so i will be not push into the queue just i will add this node 7 in the sum now 7 plus 6 will be 13 now the this size has been completed now this 13 i will be stored in the answer vector now my friend element is this 4 okay this 4 i will be stored in the node 
after that i will be pop out from this queue i will check its left and right its left is null the right is null so i will be not push into the queue just this sum i will take one sum i will add this four into the sum variable okay now my friend element is 6 okay i will be stored in the node after that i will be popped out i will check the sixth node as left child and right child here left child is null the right child is null okay if it is a null means what i will do i will not push into the queue what just i will add this sixth node into the sum 6 plus 4 10 now the size has completed now i will be stored in this answer vector my 10 see see now once queue is empty means this iteration is completed now it's time to return this answer okay Or what i will do before returning answer i will do sort by 10 30 70 we want kth largest element as 2 if kth uh, first largest number is 17 i want this one so what i will be doing i will be returning my answer answer dot size minus k here my answer dot size is total is 4 k is 2 Your answer of four minus two is two. Here it will be answer of zero. This is answer of one. This is answer of two. I will be returning thirteen as my answer. Okay, this is the approach. Let's we can enter into the coding part. How it is going to work? Let's we can see. Here we given a function k the largest level sum. Uh, we pass it the parameters root it is a tree node type and k with integer type. To uh, we are using a queue data structure. It should not overflow. For that reason, we are taking a long long. Okay. now we are taking a one vector with the long long with the name answer we created after that we are creating a queue with a tree node type with the name queue now we are pushing our root into the queue your while condition will work until my queue should not be empty If the while condition is true means what we are doing, our queue size we are storing in the size. After that we are taking one sum variable. We will be initialize it to zero with the long long time. Here we are taking one for loop. It will work until the queue size. Here we are storing our friend element in the node with the data type tree node. After that we are popping out the Friend element by using the pop function. Now we are checking which we stored in the tree node node now. That node we are checking left child and right child are exist. If the left child is exist means what we are doing we are pushing the left child in the queue. If the right child is also exist means we are pushing into the queue. After completion what we are doing we are storing the node value in the sum. once the for loop condition become false we will come out of the for loop after that we are pushing the sum in the answer vector by using push back function once the queue becomes empty we we will make our answer in ascending order by using sort function now we are checking in case your k is greater than answer size means what we are doing we are returning minus 1 Now finally we are returning answer of answer dot size minus k. Let's we can take this example. We can dry run. See we are creating an answer vector to store our answer. Okay. After that we are creating an queue to store this root node values. Now we are pushing our root. This is a one. We are pushing in the queue. See now queue is not empty. This condition is true. Now queue size is one. Okay. It will for loop will iterate one time. We will taking one sum variable. We will be starting. It will be store zero. is a friend element right we will be stored in the node okay now we are popping out this one from the queue now we are checking this nodes left and right if nodes left is 2 the nodes right is 3 just we are pushing into the queue this 2 and 3 now what we are doing we are doing sum equals to sum plus node value sum starting is 0 its node value is 1 now our sum value is 1 i told for loop will iterate one time so we'll come out of this while loop will for loop will iterate one time we'll come out of this one for loop we are returning our sum in the answer vector now sum value will be stored our answer as 1 now my friend element is this 2 okay I, what i will be do i will be stored in the node my node is 2 now now i will pop out this from the queue 
I'll check this node two as left child and right child. Yeah, left child is four, the right child is five. Just I will be push into the queue. Now my sum value will be starting zero. Zero plus its node value is two. My sum value is two. Okay. Now I'll come. Uh, for loop the condition is true. Now the front element is three. Just I will be stored in the node. Now I will pop out. I'll check this left and right child. This left child is none. The right child is none. So I will not push. What I will be do? I will be stored my sum this node value into the sum is three. Two plus three is five. Now the for loop b becomes false. What I will be do? I will be storing the sum in answer vector. Now my sum is five. I will be storing in answer vector. Now my front element is this four. I will be stored in the node this four. Now I will pop out. I will check this four left child and right child now. The left child is none. The right child is none. So we'll be not push into the queue. Now I will be stored my sum equals to zero plus four is four. Now my front element is this five. What I will be do? I will be stored in the node. Now I will be pop out from this queue. I will check its left and right child. Its left is none and the right child is also null. If it is a null, means we will not push into the stack. Just what I will be do? This node value will be stored in the sum. Now four plus five, five will be stored in the sum. Just I will be add. It will become nine. What I will be do? I will be stored in the answer. Now, now the queue is empty. If it is empty, means what I will do? We will come out of this while loop. We are doing sort. Here already it is sorted. If it is not sorted, means we will do sort. Now checking answer size. Your answer size is and your k we given as two. Okay, three is less than two. This condition is false, so we will not execute this statement. What we are doing? We are returning answer of unsize minus k. Your answer, your answer of size is three. Uh, k is two. Three minus two is one. Your answer of one is five. We are returning five. Uh, this is the dry run of this logic. Let's take and understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking big of n. Here, where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree, we are visiting all the nodes exactly once. So it is taking the time of big of n. The space complexity is taking big of h, where h is the height of the tree. We are storing height of the tree in the answer vector. So it is the taking the space of big of h. Let's we can run the code. It's finished. Let's we can submit. Yeah, I see. It is an accepted solution. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, please give the like.